today I had an appointment with my surgeon and I came home and I found this going on. So this is my son's room after surgery, I mean after uh, the repairs are done. And just to show you, they didn't caulk between the wall and the floor, so we're going to have to take care of that ourselves. And uh, over here is the one you can see the best. The wall has cracks in it still because they didn't actually plaster, they simply painted over. And again over here, structural cracks in the walls and on that side too, but I'm not going to get too detailed on that one. But when they said that they were going to come back and they were going to paint this hallway, which they did without taking care of the cracks in the ceiling, they did not tell me that they were going to do this to my bathroom, which they painted, which is fine, I guess, because there was fire, uh, like the black marks from the fire over here when the electrician caught fire. And they painted my tiles to quote, quote, get rid of the mold. Then we come here to my living room. They did not paint to get rid of the yellow stains on my wall. They did, however, reconnect my radiator for which I am happy. Yay, I can move shit back now. Now over here, we have my kitchen. The floor is still fucked because it's not even. But they have repainted my kitchen. Check that out. It's white. They did not touch the wall that is just plaster. They simply repainted the top of my kitchen to make it look as if they did something. So... Yay, it's painted, I guess. But they didn't even come close to touching the wall back here behind the microwave that's fucked because it's just plaster. So I don't know what they were thinking with that one. They do have to get into that hallway because they have to do the floor in that hallway. This hallway with the bike in it because the bike is the only thing that lives out here right now. They're supposed to do the floor out here because one, it's an old floor, it's warped and whatnot. And two, they have to do the painting. And you would think that they'd want to do this room because this is where I have their wall of shame. All of the violations that I have collected that I could remember to put up there before I threw them out are up there. Yeah, this is what they think is all that is left in this apartment to do. How wrong they are. Look how pretty. The only part of my room that makes some sort of sense right now. Because right next to it we have about three feet deep, four feet deep plants in two <laughs> layers. I can't even get to them all to water them. It's a problem. <laughs> Let me see if I can't get the camera in here. Mm -hmm. All of these bad boys. Ah, the cemetery section. About 18 plants have not made the trip. And then there are all of these that I had to pull out of all the other windows and bring in here because this and the other bedroom are the only ones not getting touched. So I had to put my bed up against the wall. Yes, folks, I am sleeping without a bed. And put everything else into my bedroom. I look like a fucking hoarder. But on the plus side, that new black and white pillow I made, the body pillow, yeah, comfy as fuck. Let's go over here to the kitchen section of my bedroom. That's right, folks. There is a kitchen section of my bedroom. There is a big-ass fucking bag of pasta right there. 
there's uh, jars of all sorts of spices and seasonings. All the Anne Rice books. And the tea set that I keep meaning to send to my kid. Bag of material and a whole big ass box of pasta back there too. And the microwave that lives under the kitchen table but in front of my closet in my bedroom for right now. All of this clutter, however, the plant table, on the two chairs, the sofa, cluttered with all the shit on it, and Molly in it, and bar in my hallway. What's this? A nearly perfectly empty living room. This gets shoved into my hallway tomorrow morning. Because they're actually going to replace, or sorry, repair the broken floor, which they have acknowledged is broken. And, and, they're going to repaint the place again. Yes, white not being my favorite color, but they're going to do it anyway. Now, over here, and I know you can see it, because I can see it through the camera, how flawed and cracked up my ceiling is. This fucker is about to come down sometime really soon, and I'm not about to have it come down on my head, so they are going to put a whole new ceiling up for me. Yay me for not dying. And, bonus, the kitchen is also free and clear of most things. Note, the lack of all the pasta in my kitchen, and the spices are all gone. Mwah. Someone stole the bar. So yes, the table being really the only thing I have to move out of here in the morning, aside from the plant chair. Crap, I forgot a plant. Okay, that needs to find a home immediately. And my detergents. But that's about it, folks. Everything else has found its way the fuck out of my kitchen and my living room. And my house will be worked on tomorrow. Let's hope that they will be home uh, here at some point in the morning and let's hope that they get some of this work done I kept my part of the bargain folks and you see it's all clear they have no reason not to do the work <laughs>